Hey everybody, it's Bill from the Plasma Fusion. I have a new machine here. It's a Dumpling King or Gaiozo no Osho. Um, it's a restaurant uh, tie-in from Japan and it's just Japanese enough to make it really cool to be here uh, in the States. Um, pachinko, again, uh, but it's mechanical so it's got a lot of it's really hard. Um, this would probably be best as a cyclic machine, but we have this as a regular. Um, it, it has a super sensitive um, tilt mechanism in it. So if we just shake it just a little bit, um, it goes into tilt mode and starts screaming ultra loud. Um, it does have built-in volume controls already are in it. Um, volume you, can, you can adjust the volume using these two buttons here, down to level one, level two and all the way up to 10 to be ear piercing, but it does have built-in volume, so we need to add them. But if you default or open the door, um, it uh, screams at you. It also lets you pick a level um, using the center. It's elementary level, advanced level, and uh, level. <laughs> There's a little panda bear there. There's a little girl for the elementary level. Advanced level is the chef. And like this, like the guy said, the level is uh, is I'm um, assuming wild level. <laughs> um, bunch of things go on on this LCD screen. It's it's got this 8-bit uh, graphics here. You'll see some people running across and and the chef and things like that. Uh, point of the game though is to get in the center pocket, um, and then depending on where your ball falls in here. Uh, most of the time I've been just getting it down here and I went a few balls. I haven't made it to a reach yet, but I will shoot some balls and maybe we can see it do something. Um, and it looks like if you hit a reach, those pockets will open on the left. And that was getting it in and oh, we got it in the tray. There you go. Uh, nope. But getting in the center there, if the chef's knife comes down or the spatula there, We'll tilt it so that it goes in the right hole into the center, and then you want to get into the go, um, which, like I said, I, I yet to get it there. But very cool. It's got this mechanical theme to it, which people seem to like. Um, it makes it extremely, extremely hard, though. Um, but it's a cool game. Uh, it's crazy Japanese-ness, which just makes it even cooler. Um, because again, nobody here has any idea what this is, and we think it's really neat. Um, this company, Toyomoro, makes a lot of these uh, mechanical machines, such as this one. Um, we're not getting into reach playing, but uh, we'll, we'll eventually play and hopefully we get one. Um, I was hoping we can get the screen to move to the... Mode. To the other um, animatronics or animation that comes in there, uh, but we're not going to get that. We think this is a win number. Um, we saw 12 come up before, uh, 37, and I saw an eight recently from playing the balls. I think it's the balls that you'll win if you should indeed get it into the go button here. Um, but we have yet to do that. But again, we just got the machine. We've been playing it for about an hour or so after we did some cleaning and, and tidying it up. Um, this comes in a yellow frame as in the shop here, but um, we've seen it in a red also um, with the other machines that are here. But that's what we got. And uh, again, it's Dumpling King uh, from Japan.